Today I will discuss about few implants which are usually kept in orthopedic practical examination. So first I will discuss about orthopedic screws. So screw is a mechanical device which converts the torsional force into compressive force. So parts of a screw, head, shaft, thread and tip. Head has a recess for attachment to screwdriver. There is also a countersink for buttress which prevents sinking of head into bone. Shaft links between head and thread. And thread makes purchase of screw with the bone. And thread diameter represent diameter of screw. And core diameter is narrowest diameter and weakest part of screw. And pitch is the distance between two adjacent threads. Lead is the distance travelled by screw in one turn. Now we will discuss about the difference between a cortical and a cancellous screw. So cortical screw the core diameter is more and the depth of thread is less. So the less it has got a lesser thread diameter and the pitch is also lesser and it has got a simple tip. And in case of cancellous screw it has got a larger thread diameter and smaller core diameter and the tip is cork screw and it has got cutting flutes at the tip and this is a locking cancellous screw here you can see there are threads which are present over the head of the screw and this thread will lock into the plate so this type of screw can be used at the metaphyseal area and also for osteoporotic bone next is a partially threaded cannulated cancellous screw Earlier malleolar screws are partially threaded cortical screws of 4.5 mm diameter. At present partially threaded 4 mm cancellous screw has taken its place. Here you can see a caver can easily pass through the screw. And that's all about a cannulated partially threaded cancellous screw. Lag screw. In lag screw, its thread take purchase into the far cortex and it will provide interfragmentary compression along the fracture site. Next is Herbert screw. This Herbert screw is a cannulated headless screw. It has got a differential pitch between 3 mm to 3.9 mm. It will provide interfragmentary compression used for scaffold fracture, capitular fracture, radial head fracture, talus fracture etc. So the cortical screws are basically diaphyseal screws. It has got a less thread diameter so the pull out strength of the screw is very less. So in case of a good bond quality we can insert the screw very safely. In case of osteoporotic bonds and in metaphyseal areas we can use a cancellous screw where the thread diameter is more and it has got a good pull out strength. That's all for today. Thank you.